Our kids, full of energy. Reflections of us. There is nothing more wondrous than children at play. Discovering the world around them. Our window on immortality. But when our kids become sick, our world stops. When your child is, is diagnosed with cancer, um, you uh, immediately get the medical referrals that you need um, and uh, get, are able to, to touch base with the doctors that you need relatively quickly. But there's a tremendous amount of emotional support that you need. And that's where I found that people at the Pediatric Cancer Foundation were of tremendous help to me and my family. Um, they are there to hold your hand through the process. Three months ago, Luke finished treatment, and he's doing amazingly well. And I'm convinced that it's this research, it's the kind of research that PCF funds, that has, you know, that is the reason why Luke is here today. You all here have done so much to help families like mine. And I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for bringing a smile to my face every day and for really raising so much money to help kids like Luke. I'm pleased to welcome the Pediatric Cancer Foundation and its co-chair, Lois Baskin, as well as other distinguished guests to NASDAQ. Thank you so much to NASDAQ for inviting our organization to preside over the opening bell this morning. It is a tremendous honor. One of PCF's major fundraisers is our annual walkathon, which will take place this year in Riverside Park. I invite you all to walk with us to raise money. Since 1970, Pediatric Cancer Foundation supports patient care, funds research, and provides seed money to finance new protocols, state-of-the-art equipment, and therapies for diseases that were once incurable. Over the past years, we've worked diligently to recruit new friends so we can support the efforts of our doctors and their programs at various leading metropolitan hospitals. Our major focus here is understanding what we call the genomics of childhood cancer. What is the genetics? What, what are the mistakes that have occurred in that individual cell that made it cancerous? And the Pediatric Cancer Foundation has provided funding for young people to come into my laboratory to understand the genetics of childhood cancer, but most importantly to use that information to rapidly integrate that knowledge into treatment. Because of the uh, Pediatric Cancer Foundation's support, I was able to partition uh, a large portion of my time to participate actively, which led to very important advances uh, in the management, for example, of children with germ cell tumors, the management of children with lymphomas, uh, as well as a variety of other uh, children's solid tumors. Uh, as the years have gone by, that support has uh, continued uh, in the Division of Pediatric Surgery and in the hospital, uh, largely through their activity supporting uh, Dr. Jessica Candell uh, and her work with angiogenesis. So the reason this laboratory is here is because we're investigating the role of the new blood vessels that grow into tumors to supply them. Um, we've been doing this for about the last eight years. If you look around the laboratory, you'll see many pieces of equipment, and all of them are evidence of the support that we've had through the years from PCF. Um, and they show you that PCF has been with us every step of the way. We could not have gotten from bench to bedside, from the mice to the children in the study we just finished um, without PCF. Throughout the year, PCF holds many fundraising events to ensure that our support of research, doctors, hospitals, and families will continue until a cure for cancer is found. Camp Brian McCoy has been involved with pediatric cancer for about 10 years. Our campers get very involved in sports so that they can get sponsored to help raise money for other children. The whole idea is that children helping other children. These children that come to Ramacoy are very healthy and they're able to have a happy, healthy summer. And we feel that they should be involved in something to give back. 
Sign up for the Pediatric Cancer Foundation, Mike and Don. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Tell me why you guys are here today. We're the bike and Don. I'm a sophomore at, uh, at Scarsdale High School. Uh, I was diagnosed with cancer two years ago, but fortunately um, I'm fine right now. And me and my brother, we founded a um, club in the Scarsdale High School called the Fight Against Pediatric Cancer Club. And we work with uh, the Pediatric Cancer Foundation, raising money for local hospitals in New York. Uh, I happen to love this organization because it's, it's an organization where every dollar raised with minor administrative costs really goes directly to research. It's not one of those big organizations that you don't feel like your donation means something. What really helps us is our corporate sponsors. We have about 50 corporate sponsors on an annual basis and some of them include CIBC World Markets, Bloomingdale's, Merrill Lynch, Macy's East. So anytime a corporation would like to donate, they can become a sponsor of a specific event. We value our corporate sponsors. We need corporate sponsors in order for our organization to grow. Pediatric Cancer Foundation rocks! I think people go through life thinking that this could never happen to me. And I'm here to say that, in fact, it can happen to anyone. What's unique about PCF and the people that they represent, that that whole organization does, they actually do something. They actually do something. And if that's, uh, that's extraordinary. It's just extraordinary. They've been doing, not only they do it, they've been doing it for a very, very long time. The childhood cancer community is a very tight community. And I think you need to be immersed in this to really understand the relationship that develops between people that care a lot about this, these children. PCF is part of that community in a very fundamental way. We're really not in the business of uh, five-year survivals. We're looking to save whole lives. We're in the business of 100-year cures. Miracles of scientific achievement occur here, but miracles of the human spirit occur here also. Um, either I come here and you know do an operation, which is the best that I can do to help a child get better, um, or I go across the street and you know think about the problems that we haven't solved yet and try and find better solutions for them. I stand in front of you. I'll take the force of the blood. I think over the last eight years, um, with the help of the PCF, we've been able to do that, and that's tremendously rewarding. Thank you.